wherever I go fishing, I like to use fact, not fiction. However, there is one saying, an old wives tale, fishing folklore, if you like, that I can't explain, yet I completely subscribe to, and it's this. When the wind's in the east, the fish bite least. I've tried to explain it, believe me I have, and I simply can't. Where I'm based in the southwest of England in the UK, an easterly wind normally coincides with an area of high weather pressure. Is it the high, is it the high pressure that's causing the poor fishing conditions? Well, no, because you can also get high pressure weather associated with a different wind direction, from the west or the northwest, for example, and the fishing then is fine. So I don't think it's pressure. Is it because at this time of year in particular, an east wind brings cold air off continental Europe and it makes it, well, it's blooming freezing here right now. Is it the extreme cold that causes the poor fishing conditions? Well, no, we can get really cold weather with the wind coming from the north and yet the fishing is still quite good. The opposite, in the summer, that same east wind brings really warm air off continental Europe. Is it the heat that causes the problem? No, because we can get great fishing conditions in a southerly wind with warm air coming up from, say, North Africa. I've also spotted another phenomenon in the days leading up to an easterly wind, even before it arrives, and that's water visibility. It doesn't matter whether it's fresh water, like this, or salt water, the visibility improves dramatically. It's like all the algae and plankton just drop out of the water. I can't explain it, I wish I could. I'd love it if somebody else could present the fact to me as to why when the wind is in the east, the fish bite least. Best of luck. I think we're gonna need it.